Good morning from Miami Beach. This is Neurosurgical TV. This is Dr. John Bennett. We're having another daily dose. This is number 58 during the COVID times. And I'd like to introduce Mustafa Baskaya. He's going to take it from here. Welcome, Mustafa. Thank you, John. Thank you, Ipe. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. It's good to be back here. Again, I thank John, Ipe, and Hira for helping me and the other organizers. As I said before in the previous lectures, my clinical practice is one-third skull waves, one-third vascular, and one-third difficult region gliomas. I don't have a huge numbers, but microsurgery is my daily practice. So I think I can talk about microsurgery of arteriovenous malformation and some technical nuances. This is where I am currently, Madison, Wisconsin. It's a beautiful town located between isthmus of three lakes. We have a very large medical campus, so I have no disclosures. Most of the AVMs are supratentorial. Annual hemorrhage rate varies between 2 and 4% per year. Most of the patients present with intracranial hemorrhage, and the next presentation is the epileptic seizures. What influences the risk of hemorrhage? This has been a long years of debate. Recent hemorrhage increases the risk for sure. Associated aneurysm, feeding pedicle aneurysm, yes. Intranidal aneurysms, I think to me is all the AVM arteries, varixes, looks like intranidal. I, I'm not sure about that increases anything. Small size, this is again questionable. Deep location, posterior fossa, intra or periventricular location. Again, this, the, we are gaining more and more data on this. Probably increases the risk of hemorrhage. How we make decision and how to treat AVMs. Age is, of course, very important. That is closely related to the natural history, patient's general health, patient's neurological condition, history of recent or past hemorrhages, especially recent hemorrhage will influence the timing of the treatment, symptoms from the AVM, patient's occupation and the hobbies, and also psychological makeup. These are, to me, I think this last two is the most important factors when you decide how to treat AVMs or should you or shouldn't you treat AVMs.